Now, with a show called Espresso, it goes without saying that we know about coffee, or at least we drink enough of it to assume that we do. But one can always learn something new. And today, along with food editor of Sunday Times newspaper, Hilary Buller, we're going to learn about different kinds and grinds of coffee and how you can use them in your cooking. Good morning to you. How are you? I'm very well. It's lovely to be back. It's Thank great you. to have you back. So let's talk about these four little uh, bits of coffee in front of us okay. and how we use them. Okay. Well, what we're going to do today, our lesson is about actually taking the, the drink that we love so much and putting it into food. Uh -huh. And did you know that coffee is the fastest growing beverage in the world? No, I didn't know that. Mm. Okay, but now I do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay. All right, and in order to use it in cooking, what we've got here is four different stages of coffee, actually. Yes. Here we have the coffee beans, mm -hmm. and I'm sure you know that the coffee bean that comes off the plant is actually green. So this has been roasted beautifully, which yes. gives it that lovely aromatic flavor. Then we have a coarse grinding of coffee. Mm -hmm. That would be the first stage where it's particularly quite coarse, mm -hmm. then a more finer grind, and then we have instant coffee. That we all know. And yes, that we all know. You know they put it into tunnels mm -hmm. and they spray water on it onto the coffee. Okay. And that's what causes it to sort of go into little clumps. Oh, and right. And that's what gives it that sort of instant Yes, and okay. so after this we're going to be learning how we can use this in our cooking because it's a very weird combination. I know it is, but you know all those lovely flavours in coffee, you know it's deep, it's dark, it's aromatic, actually you can use to, in cooking and make food taste really good. Oh man, I know that when, I, when I'm at home and I make some of this, I mean it's, it's beautiful to have your house, um, you know, having that aroma of, mm. of coffee, that mm. thick rich coffee smell. Well that's what coffee shops trade on, is actually that aroma, it's what apparently brings people in to, to their coffee shops and if you want to sell a house, you should always have a pot of coffee brewing on the stove. Really? <laughs> well there you have it, some real estate tips there from Hillary as well, but stick around because after the break we're going to be using coffee in a rather unusual way in our recipe today. By supporting the Flower Valley Conservation Trust, that's where we found goodness. Pick and pay, always there for you. Now, when you think burger and coffee, I'm sure you don't necessarily picture yourself at the same meal table because usually one is meant for breakfast and the other for lunch, right? Well, not exactly because with a little imagination, anything is possible. And food editor of Sunday Times newspaper, Hilary Biller, is here to show us how you can put a bit of a Java kick in your burger. It's a very, very interesting combo. How did you, how did you come up with this? Were you just kind of fiddling around with ideas? And... I was fiddling around and I thought, you know, coffee is so aromatic. Surely it could be as aromatic on something that you eat. Mm -hmm. And I thought I'd take the world's most popular dish, the hamburger, and see if it works. And it is really delicious. This should be very interesting. Okay, cool. So what do we need to make this? All right. What we need is some beef mince. All right. Okay. Which I'm going to add one finely chopped onion. Mm-hmm. Okay. To that, I'm going to add some Worcester sauce. Mm -hmm. So you sort of add the onions into the patty yes, as well, not... Uh, have it as we would usually have it to say in rings. Um, what you're going to do is you, what you're doing this for is to actually flavour the meat and then we're still going to have the onion rings on the burger. There they so are. So you won't miss out on your favourite. Okay. And then I have a slice of bread which I've soaked in some milk. And the reason you do this is you, sometimes when you're cooking mince and you're making them to burgers, it can be quite solid. Okay. So by adding onion and bread to it, you're making it of, of have a wonderful texture. Oh, okay, good. so right. you make it nice and chewy yes. and tender. Okay. All right, now what I'm going to do is use my hands and mix this all together. And then I'm going to shape it into the burgers. Mm -hmm. All right, and then once we've mixed it all together, which I've done here, is you shape them into burgers. Mm -hmm. And depending on how hungry your family is or how generous you're feeling, you can make them really nice and fat or you can make them really skinny burgers if you're wanting to stretch it further. Yeah, well, we've got a lot okay. of crew members here, so yes. let's, let's all right. keep it nice okay. and all Right, and then I pop those onto a, a tray that's been sprayed with spray and cook okay. so they don't stick. Let me do another one. I must say, this is, it's looking surprisingly easy. When I, when I think making a burger from scratch, I wouldn't necessarily have thought it to be this easy. It really is very, very easy. Right. Of course, if you're at home, we're making, what, what are we calling this? It's a coffee, coffee burger. It's a coffee rubbed burger. Coffee rubbed burger. Mm. The ingredients to which you can get on your mobile phone if you SMS the keyword burger to 33728. Okay. Right, okay. so we have our burgers and we're going to go on to We've made four. I think that should just go around two each. Okay, that's right. Let's forget about the crew. Okay? <laughs> Some unhappy faces there in the back. Sorry, sorry. Okay, the most important part is the coffee blend of spices. So in here I've got coffee, 
I've got salt and pepper, mm -hmm. I've got brown sugar, I've got some cardamom and some oregano. Now before the break, quite an interesting sort of blend. Yeah, before the break we, we went on with different coffee grinds. So mm. which one is it there? Because we I've used the fine stages. grind of coffee. The fine and, grind. Yes, you want the fine grind. You don't want to have that sort of coarse texture in your mouth. Okay. So to, ideally the fine grind. Mm -hmm. And then what you do is you sprinkle it over the meat quite generously. Mm -hmm. So when you come to deciding what spices to use um, with the coffee, is yes. it a kind of an, an experimentation thing where you just you know, rely um, on your palate? I, yes, it was a bit of an experimentation, but I, I would be quite careful. I've used cardamom, which is sort of um, Eastern spice, mm -hmm. which I thought would go quite well with coffee. And then the oregano was, is a herb, mm -hmm. and um, I just felt this worked very well together. Okie dokie. Okay. And then turn the burgers over. It's already getting that aromatic can, yes, scent. Yes, you can smell it. Ah, it's yes. gorgeous. Okie dokie. All right. Have you, by any chance, kind of patented this yet? Because, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm sure some restaurateur is sitting at the back there, oh, yes, oh, yes, I'm going to start serving this today. <laughs> do you think I could? Probably. There's some potential in it. <laughs> I don't know. Well, you, you know what you could do? You could make the world's most expensive burger. By, by doing this and then using the world's most expensive coffee. Have you heard of that? It sells for 160 US dollars a pound. Yes, I have heard of it. And, and it looks just like a chocolate log. <laughs> <laughs> the ingredients of it are acquired from a very, very interesting source. All right. Then I, this can be cooked in a number of ways. You mm -hmm. could fry it in a pan. Yes. I would use a non-stick pan. Or you could put it under the grill in the oven, which I think is much better because none of the coffee spice sort of um, comes away from the burger. Mm -hmm. Or you could pop them on the bry. Okay. Oh, on the bry. There yes. we go. Like an energy for Freitag. Like a Freitag Freitag. And your oven would be at around? At about um, 180, 200, but ideally it should be grilled. So preheat the grill. Yes. Okay. Luckily we've had some pre made in here. And then, oh, they're looking amazing. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Mm. Okay. Get that too. Don't they smell good? They do. They mm. do. And they look amazing <laughs> too. Man. Okay. Okay. The magic of television. Now we right. make the burger. So what we're going to do is really this is. Um, up to you what you feel like on your burger, but mm -hmm. traditionally it would be lettuce to start off with. Okay. Would you like a little cloth there? Yes, please. There we go, for your hands. Thank you. All right. So you have a bit of lettuce. Lettuce, some tomato. And I'm sure you could think up all kinds of interesting flavors yes. that could work with this as well. Some Cucumber, like, yeah. anything, like onion, pineapple. lots of onion rings. Mm -hmm. I, I hear onion is your favorite. Really? Especially when you go out on dates. <laughs> That's the first thing you do. <laughs> Have All you been right. spying on me? <laughs> <laughs> and then top that with one of the burgers. Yes. Uh, doesn't that look good? That does look and very, then, very good. And then, funnily enough, what really works with this burger is some sort of barbecue sauce. Okay. So you need a good dollop of that over the wow. top. Loads. Oh, there we go. Dollop. Yes. Dollop. A good dollop. A good dollop. <laughs> <laughs> and All if right. you wanted to, you could pop a bit of lettuce over there. So if you've just joined us, we're making a coffee rubbed burger, which looks absolutely mm. mouth-watering, if I may say so myself. Thank you very much, Hilary. There we go. And uh, if you want the ingredients, SMS that keyword, burger 33728 is the number, and you can have that. Oh, man. Tummy's grumbling. <laughs> this is it. This is it right it's here. It's huge. We need to taste. Oh, my goodness. Crew members in the back <laughs> staring daggers at me but I will not take shame in this moment at all. Oh my goodness, okay. Do I even... It's a Why big we bite. Here we go, <laughs> one small step for Cat. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, a marco mo lecker. Mmm. Really good, really good. Hurry. Mmm. Thank you very much. Mm, With your coffee pleasure. rubbed hands. Yes, sorry, I'm leaving <laughs> Mine some will be tender too. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Now, of course, remember that these recipes will be featured in this Sunday's issue of Sunday Times uh, Food Weekly, along with our um, other great recipes as well. And you can also SMS that keyword to 33728 to get the recipe sent to your phone.